Certainly. So the Marine Corps transitions anywhere between 30 and 35,000 a year. And from this region alone, uh, the Camp Pendleton area, uh, we just did short of 9,000 last year. So it's, um, it's a, a, a series of events that happen and it all revolves around our transition readiness program. And in that program, pre-separation counseling happens and walks the Marines through the steps that they need to do to seamlessly transition out to the civilian workforce. Um, part of the transition readiness program would be MSTEP as a benefit or a service that Marines could consider as they go through the process of transitioning. That's a great question. The Marine Corps has a lot of military operational specialties, we call them MOSs, where Marines can learn a myriad of technical skills. Not all of those, few of those can directly translate to a civilian workforce type of job like a provost marshal or police officer comes to mind. But most of the skills can transfer to something as um, specific as automotive technician and that's why this is such a great program. So it's a two-way street. I think seeing Marines seamlessly transition into the civilian workforce is one step, but also supportive organizations like BMW partnering with UTI, uh, Uni Universal Technical, too many acronyms, right? Institute. Um, that, that kind of collaboration is just so promising for future Marines and the, and the size of the workforce that we're dealing with that does transition every year. I, I think that once the benefits are seen by organizations like BMW, the type and the quality of, uh, of Marine that transitions into their workforce. Once they see that, I think it'll, it'll spread, it'll be a great thing. So Marines are innovative, they're adaptable, um, they're taught to seek responsibility and they know that they're held accountable, their actions. Um, Marines are very uh, identify with the purpose of mission and they know what success is and I don't know of any corporation or company that wouldn't want those character traits in their employees. I certainly would. I think our commitment to the S is a very very intense one. I think over 25 years ago we opened Spartanburg and Spartanburg as you know is our biggest factory in globally and it's something we are committed. We have spent about over nine million there investment and together with our dealers and suppliers we've got about 70,000 people who are actually working directly or indirectly for BMW. I think MSTEP is a great direction for our customers but also for us I would call it a win-win situation. Now we, here we've got people, they're highly trained technicians, they're people who are dedicated, they're authentic, those people are skilled. I just spoke to a, a, someone who's working on a helicopter, on a technology, I was asked what is the first thing you're going to be expecting from that uh, technician? I said well probably that our BMW is going to fly. But really, honestly spoken, dealers have a need for technicians. We have the STEP program, at the same time now we've got the MSTEP program. And I'm convinced that we will get more customer focused if we help our dealers to get the technicians who ultimately help our customers to get the right service. Okay, what I think is, uh, I mean, number one, I'm honored to be here. I think BMW is honored to be here today. We came here and we were welcomed with open minds and hearts. Should I say, General Calais, he just said, you know, that that is a really win-win situation for both of us. And that's how I feel about it. Those men and women of the OES military, the Marines, they're highly dedicated, they're authentic, they work, they're highly skilled, they're trained, they're dedicated, they're emotional. Those people, I just spoke to some of them, they want to make this work. And I spoke to someone else, she told me, there's already 40, 50 people waiting for the next class we're going to give. So I think this is a true win-win situation. Today is the absolute first time we're going to do this in America and not only the first time for us, it's the first time ever that an OEM is doing this. And I'm kind of honored. I think this is another little innovation. It's also our responsibilities. We're giving back to the country we're committed to. And today is an honor to make the ribbon cutting here for something which I feel is very, very special. Our relationship with BMW of North America expands more than two decades now. So for 20 years, we've been partnering together to create an educational experience that provides significant value to our students and graduates, effectively making certain that they are well prepared for the real world. And in this instance, 
really helping active service members as they transition into civilian roles. Because what matters to BMW, in terms of excellence, performance, design, engineering, customer service, that's what our military is about today. And so it's a perfect match. This program is the first of its type in the country. In fact, it's the only one. And it is catering to our service military members who are transitioning from active duty into civilian roles. And it gives them a head start. I mean a real head start. Who wouldn't want to work for BMW of North America? And they come out with a head start above the rest with credentials in technology, uh, the training that is required to be productive and to benefit the dealer network. Um, it's, it's a terrific opportunity for our nation's heroes. And I'd like to just thank the team here at Camp Pendleton for making this happen. We're excited to have UTI instructors who are BMW certified here full time, helping the students reach the finish line. And uh, that's pretty exciting. I think the real value to the students is to actually be able to get their hands on BMW tools, technology, and equipment. I mean, when you look at the lab, it's such an investment in the future of, of these heroes who get the opportunity to work on things that most only dream of. And oftentimes, they might even hear of technologies and breakthrough before it hits the streets. So uh, we're, we're excited about the partnership with BMW and the opportunity that that creates for our nation's uh, men and women. The demand for trained auto technicians is soaring. There's a significant shortage, more than 100,000 technicians needed, and there's simply not enough talent to fill that. So again, uh, this puts the, the students and graduates coming through this program at a real advantage especially having a brand like BMW and all that that stands for behind them as they enter the workforce. I first heard about it during Transition Readiness Seminar and as soon as I heard about it I was excited because obviously BMW's reputation precedes it and I've always loved being uh, like working with my hands and doing mechanical things in nature and so I just thought it was a fantastic opportunity and I, I, I thought it was worth a shot to just apply for it. Uh, I think I can bring uh, a lot of hard work and dedication. Um, it, it's just something that happens when you're a Marine is you're just willing to put in the extra hours and make sure everything's done correctly. And I, I think that is something that you know, any company is willing to, to need. Uh, I think that it's an important program because I know a lot of Marines, um, myself included, sometimes when you're about to get out of the Marine Corps, you're like, oh, I have six months and then I don't have a job anymore. What am I going to do? Things like this is, um, it'll help you out because you already have a career path after you get out of the Marine Corps. Honestly, I was looking at the program and I saw that I didn't need your GI Bill, which is something I wanted to save for maybe future family. And I do have a little bit of background in mechanics, so I wanted to go down that path because I didn't really know where else to go. And uh, I, would, I would say I, had a, I didn't have a solid plan, but this definitely makes everything concrete. I think I'm offering uh, definitely a wide aptitude of learning and understanding as well as mentoring and coaching other people who may follow my footsteps behind me. And I love growing with technology and working on the Osprey. That's almost relatable to this as well, so. What do you? Well, my dream would be to climb the ranks in BMW and I would love to learn a lot more about cars because, and technical, um, let's say, technical abilities because I do like challenging my mind, and I think it's a really good industry to be in. So. It is really helpful because a lot of Marines know their way around Camp Pendleton. It is one of our major bases, and it is really accessible. So a lot of people are able to do what they need before they get out, as well as continue through this course and not worry about any hiccups or speed bumps. Uh, yes, it is really competitive out there, especially with people coming out of college and all these uh, people who do, have done internships on their own 
And with this program, it will definitely give us a head start in the automotive industry or any other industry. So.